some sour cream because I'm doing some baked potatoes. So let's make some sour cream for those baked potatoes. So firstly, what we're we gonna need? We're gonna use one cup of heavy cream. This is expensive, so try and get all, please. <laughs> and I'm going to use one fourth of a cup of full cream and milk. Now I'm going to use three fourths of a teaspoon of lemon, lime, or vinegar. Okay. Gonna give it a little mixy wixy. And you know how I like to use my coffee mug. I mean, I have so much of these coffee bottles here. It's best to put them to use, yeah? And as I said, try and use all of the measurement is a cup, so every drop comes. Right? And place them here. Make sure you all can see. Try and get all of it. And then we're going to shake. And you want to shake this. And then take it off. Then you want to put a breathable piece of cloth on it and you will get a piece of either a rubber band or twine anything and you will seal it in a nice spot for 24 hours and you will have your sour cream so the next video you will see is what the sour cream looks like after 24 hours and then in the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this very said sour cream on my baked potatoes. Alright, so stay tuned for the baked potatoes and obviously stay tuned for the ending of this sour cream demo. So this is what it looks like. It has really thicken up after the 24 hours has come to an end. And I am really, 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 really happy with the end result. So I'm going to pour it. And this is what it looks like when I was finished. So after I remove it from the container, it was really thick. And then I place it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes before I made that video with me stirring it around. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you don't have all the preservatives to keep it like, you know, you would have it in the store. You don't have all those preservatives, but it is it is doing the job and it is the same thing. It is sour cream. So, But I don't think you all really see how thick it was. Before I go, I just want to show you all the thick consistency. And now I have it in a container and I want you all to see that the consistency isn't runny it is nice and thick you know I want you all to see the consistency watch this watch this see how good it is very thick and nice so I do hope you give this sour cream recipe a try I know the lighting sucks but um I do hope you give this sour cream recipe a try. It was really, really, really a good recipe. And I'm going to try it with my baked potatoes. So look out for that baked potato with my sour cream next. All right, guys. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. Again, let me give you the recipe. One cup of whipping cream. One fourth of a cup of... Um, full cream milk and I use three-fourths of a teaspoon lime lemon or vinegar 
So guys, thank you all for watching this very quick and easy sour cream recipe and look out for my baked potatoes. And while you're here, yes, you see those links there, my previous recipe, please check them out. Thanks for watching.